Black Rasta and Sam Air Trend e wo Ghana na se wan kasa e wo ho a e busu e tabu enu ti am for kra e chiri mo e be ya Black Rasta e wo say yesa that create special ministry bi kra e ma no na e no ye deputy minister e wo supplement and government e busu a na Black Rasta yes uh, was sending message to Dr Bawumia because uh, Dr Bawumia or the message be aba abontan was he sending message to Afanyo Marken for on a uh, speaker of parliament ebusu a omo so pintin pintin ya e ko so e wo ho no black rasta wa mana so ha cheda ni din apm o oni na na do dan kwa ekufu ha do na black rasta wo be kire mu a ebusu a sa tru mu tru mu ho nsa no e firi ni e firi bibinzi go bibinzi gwa kum be ment we de menti bida ye be ko deep sandra okwan ye online marketer o si be at home and work online ejuma we obi abet mi aye bi enu ti ma shwa so we had mother that cry now. We bet me the age we a can ya we had a down. Eh, eh, here qualification we are international number. Eh, you go eh, we screen so no. For Sandra Okwa na on show online job no any so. Black Rasta eh, busi yawa siya one some can. Sa anti LGBTQ and send some ah eh, koso eh, busi yawa the cathedral no cry no abi film. No no, chemu se. Ma mo ni eh, koso no. Bibi in sikwa. Or betray the Genesis and the Revelation. Any eh, busi yawa sa ni anema eh, be kweko we. Honorable members. That is the voice of Alban Bagbin any time he needs to make a very important statement. I am excited that we are having an intellectual discourse. It's the same law we are applying. Mr. President decided that he will not assent his signature to the so-called anti-gay bill, primarily because he had already promised the Vice President of America, Kamala Harris, that I will show Ghanaians where power lies. Mr. President, who claims that he's a Christian, who would go all the way to Israel and hold the so-called wailing wall and cry to God wearing the Jewish hat, promising God, the God of the Bible, the God of Israel, that if he wins power, he will serve him to the letter and even build him a cathedral. A man who promised to build a cathedral for the God of the Bible. At the end of the day, God decided to test his faith using two parameters. Number one, he threw down coronavirus. And when corona landed in this country, it shredded the cathedral into bits. Now, the man who designed the cathedral was not let loose. In fact, he had to go through sexual and rape allegations. My brother, my sister. Today, he doesn't even want to be associated with the cathedral. He has seen that God is angry with the cathedral and angry with anybody who has anything to do with that cathedral. Anybody who aligns with the cathedral. My brother, my sister. It's like in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah. When the fire is coming, it starts burning them first. Now the secretary of the so-called trustees board was not spared either. He had a dual criminal identity. Two different mothers, two different days of birth. It's only a dirty criminal who would do that. Yet they call him a man of God. In our country, men of God do not exist anymore. Just a few. They are all gods of men. Now, God is still not happy. He decided to test the president. Now, gay issues have come. It's clear in the Bible that you believe in that God is against homosexuality. And that, according to the Bible, the president who says he believes in the Bible today is running away from the laws of his biblical God. What a hypocritical, dangerous, dirty minded president. My brother, my sister. Well, people would always beat people to their own game. Black Rasta see on here yet. A fiance on no, or be praise the parliament. No, 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 I have no air as a mono. Fireman are black Rasta or they are just for one name. It was your adjectives are already describing another damn quite a coup for a man for James. Oh, they be black Rasta. I commend parliament. At least parliament has been able to show the arrogant president that he is not God. So arrogant stinkingly arrogant stinking arrogance my brother what an arrogant president my brother my sister this man is not deserving to be called president 
I am so ashamed of him as my president. And I will say this a trillion times. I still do not understand why so many MPs will sit in parliament representing all the constituencies in Ghana and pass a bill. And instead of having the president sign it outright because the whole Ghana has agreed, the veto of the president is bigger than the whole of Ghana. He can decide against the over 30 million people of this country not to sign a bill that has been agreed by the nation. I still cannot understand what kind of dirty power the constitution has given to such an arrogant infidel. I leave it here. Andra, Dr. Baumia, NPP, Omo flag bearer for 2024 elections, Ebusia, or committee, a some sector be way a members of the Ghana Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Ah, and no members, we know much. Dr. Baumia, a burden in this one, for Ghana 2025. Almost right now, say, you may be a whole man on financial manifesto in Musani Abaya, Ebebua, or more businesses. Now, when a doctor by Wumi Busia, only the end drop, only two guy, ever was it? Aya Ghana Revenue Authority, or more harassing businesses over unrealistic targets. I am not aya in some doctor by Wumi, or the two guy, or one man also signed Chemse. Aya 2025, or back granted tax amnesty to all businesses and individuals, say Obedi President. Now when a black rasta, it was on a type po or say why na kasano? Okay, what? Na black rasta in some of the assessors we will hold. Na na kwami bedi akun aka cheddar ni di epiemo. I have never seen a pretender like Mahmoudu Bahomia, a very dangerous pretender. My brother, under his watch, as the mates of the trotro called Ghana, with the driver called Nana Akufuado. Arrogance and pretense came into play, and the country has started retrogressing geometrically under the watch of the economic whiskey. In fact, a blacksmith that we mistook for Adam Smith. My brother, my sister, we have had unprecedented taxes slapping Ghanaians. You didn't have a problem with that. A levy came, you ran like a wild frog into your ditch hiding and croaking queer, queer, queer. after croaking so good rally you were claiming that the gra is harassing businesses who gave the gra the power to harass look at baumia he wants to be president so now he wants to put up a very cosmetic face of innocence and treachery what a dirty minded vice president are you following? Look at the number of taxes we have in Ghana. So unprecedented. Not even the days of Julius Caesar did we ever have this number of taxes on the people. The taxes we have in Ghana, they are more than a hundred times more than the taxes in the days of Jesus Christ. The other day I went to Labadi somewhere to buy food for a friend. And when we got in there, after eating whatever friend wanted to eat, they brought me the bill. I still have the bill. Anywhere I go, I carry it and I parade it. And this was about a month ago. Now, the thing that slapped me so much on that paper, they said GRA tax. What the hell of an animal is GRA tax? Ghana Revenue Authority tax. This is the tax collecting agency, my brother. And we have to pay tax to the tax paying collecting authority. GRA tax. Anywhere you go to shop, make sure you get a receipt and check it out. You will see GRA tax. Ghana Revenue Authority tax. Entertainment tax. Cockroach tax. Fraud tax. My brother, my sister. Slay Queen's tax is all in there. Baumia didn't see all this. Now he's running after GRA that we are paying taxes to and for to say you are harassing businesses. What a hypocrite. I don't know how many people are listening. Ghanaians have been taken for fool for far too long. These politicians think that Ghanaians have no common sense. The only use they have for you is your thumbprint. And if all Ghanaians had their thumbprints cut off, politicians will never even look your direction. I'm speaking in parables. That is why you would have idiots come to tell you that they will take the seat to Kumasi. That idiots can come and tell you don't ask me for the source of my money just believe that i have it 
and I have it. Jesus, I feel insulted. I feel so insulted that I've lived to see these charlatans and urchins parade themselves as leaders. What a shame. Now, I say, Eya afanyo marking ono su we hu eya banta e kosu between ono any afi speaker of parliament because over kaya andra speaker of parliament ono di o chire muse eya nana rodan kwa e kufuado ni posha on anti LGBTQ bill no any afi eya ni secretary asanti bedi e tu ono so one and all parliament na nana ro ni a oye no o undermine eya the spirit of cooperative governance e wagana any afi ni oye no and some fata. Now when I find your mark in Ebusha, only the Ugala or Betchi will say, "A Speaker of Parliament will denigrate in another than Kwa Ekufuado." Any of you, West Nibia or Yusu, you know Ebusha and San Fatakra. When a Black Rasta and a type poor say, "Ah, why ne kasa no find your mark in?" You see, I find your mark in, and the rest of them, they are all boot licking agents. They don't mean well for Ghana, and I am angry. I will say this a trillion times. Were they here when Akufuado? The ostrich of a president. Were they here when he told Kamala Harris in the full glare of all Ghana and the rest of the world? Don't worry, madam. Let them do their shenanigans in parliament. After they are finished with their shenanigans, they will bring this to my table and I will play the almighty. It's an insult to the parliament. And to all parliamentarians, including the Speaker of Parliament, such an arrogant president. At the point, the majority never said that the president had looked down on the August House. But today, when well-meaning, witty people, people with common sense and brain and loyalty for Ghana, are speaking and whipping the president into line, my brother, my sister, you have people like Afenua Martin come out and say, don't denigrate the president. And when we want to find out what he means by denigrating the president, the thing is that Alban Bagbin supposedly said that the president is departing from the norm of economic and democratic proceedings as laid down. In other words, established democratic practices. That is denigrating the president. But you don't see the president behaving like a stooge, the stoogish president, the house nigger of a president, talking to Kamala Harris and saying, hey, why are you worried about parliament at all? Parliament should have impeached the president immediately. How can you look down on the parliament? When you look down on parliament, you are looking down on the whole country because those parliamentarians do not have any power of their own. They are living and dwelling on borrowed power from the people. In general, the fireman can be more will be a black rust a fireman to win or the amount. I ain't or two more. And someone another down quick for our or can you know? I don't know who Nigana Hana as a day. What crown away a parliamentarian? It is any politics, sir. Now, can someone another down to a coup for a crown or the other one? We undermine parliament, and once you undermine parliament, the whole Ghana, and that's why we undermine. In the other one, I was on the ground, I'm watching the movie in Pichino. Master, wa so be share video with me, the Eddie Kujo Black, any of you. Obet show Adrian and Mami, or comment section, or Macramo. Sending money abroad just got a whole lot easier with AfriX. A slick app makes international transfer crazy fast and super secure. Just tap a few buttons, money sent across the board in a minute. One magic of AfriX is that you can add your debit card or load money to your AfriX wallet right in the app. Then send those funds to your recipient overseas straight to their bank account at lightning speed and zero fees. You can earn a one-time bonus of $20 if you refer your friends and they send up to $150. Whether you're in the USA, Canada, Europe or anywhere in the world, AfriX. Best rates at no cost with no hidden fees.